Kind of the important stuff we look at is obviously we've got average carries. Yeah. They're all pretty similar. But look at look how much faster you swing this one versus this one and look at the ball speeds. So we really look at what's called smash factor, which right. is your club head speed to ball speed ratio. Right. So a lot more efficient. Spin rates are they're okay, but look at the height difference. So you you actually hit this one higher, which is giving it more carry. Right. With a better smash factor. So and more consistent ball flights. So that same circle we looked at with the irons it does the same in the driver. Is, is much tighter. Right. So to me that's the most important part, right? Yeah, everybody wants length. Everybody comes in here, they're looking for 20 yards. Well, there may not be 20 yards to get you. But can I get you in the fairway? You're going to hit more greens if you're in the fairway than you are in the rough 20 yards further. All right, so, so for review, and again, now we're going to go over what we found with the driver, which was kind of the same with the irons. We found the shaft first that seemed to work the best. And then as we started changing heads, we obviously found a combination that was right. from a launch angle spin and more than anything, more than anything though for me was the, the dispersion again. Right. No, you hit three right, right in the same trash can out there. I, 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 that, I could see that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, but it's the whole combination too, right? If you're not having the right shaft, the head may not make a difference altogether. Because again, you've got a shaft that's performing at a high level that's giving you the same, aftermarket shafts produce a lot of consistency. So it's gonna do the same thing over and over and over again, where you get some of the, I guess the, the stock, shafts. stock shafts. Yeah, they just, they, one time you might hit it great, six times you might hit it terrible. So what we want is we want that consistency. Okay. Fairways are everything. If you want to score, you got to get in the fairway. Yeah, well, there was Trevino's made a comment back when he was playing. So there's two things that don't last. Dogs that chase cars and pros that miss fairways and greens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, oh. yeah, that was, that was good. So that was great. Well, we've got the driver now, so we've got pretty much everything. Uh, it's, it's invaluable to have this information. I mean, I, like I say, for most people, and now here in your area, right. in the Denver area, to be to come here. I mean, if you're buying clubs, whatever level they're going to buy clubs at, wouldn't you say this is well worth their effort? Absolutely. And there's still no, there's no substitute for visual confirmation. I mean, you you got to see. I can show you these numbers all day long, but if you no. can't see it, you, at least now I know you, you you've seen it. Well, I'm a little. At my level, I'm a little different. I mean, I'll trust the numbers because I know what right. the numbers would look like. But being a teacher and doing what I do, I know that there virtually is no substitute for somebody hitting the ball outside where they see what they're doing, performing, making the ball go in the air, doing what they want it to do. I mean, it just, they, no matter how right the numbers are, it doesn't make up for the visual confirmation. Right.